Hey, I'm going to show you how to make an interactive game on Google Slides. And so I'm going to walk you through the steps, okay? So you're going to go into a blank slideshow and just delete whatever text boxes are on top. Then you're going to click on slide and then click edit master. And then here, what you want to do is just delete all of these layouts. You just click on it and then click delete and delete all of these except the blank one. It's all you need right now to start with is the blank. Okay, so now I have a blank right here. And what you want to do is rename it. Okay, so this is going to be the intro slide. You're basically going to create a few slides. You need an intro slide, intro slide, and then you need a slide, question slide. I don't know, you can call it whatever you want. Um, and then you need a correct slide. And you also need an incorrect slide. And then your last one you need is um, an ending slide. Okay. So then what you're going to do is then start building your slides here. Okay. So you want to, you can add backgrounds, you can add images, you can add text. Um, you're just going to add. Okay. So I added a background image from my computer. Um, you can get images from TPT, Google search. There's lots of different places to add images. You can also grab them from like slide templates if there's a image you like there too. Okay, so I'm just going to keep adding this background slide scene to all of my slides. I want the same background on all of them. Okay, so now I have my background. Now I need to go in and design each piece of the slide. Okay, so this is my intro slide. You can do, you know, maybe the skill that you're gonna um, adding three numbers. Um, okay, and then on this slide, you'll also wanna give like some instructions for your class, for your students. Um, so answer each question, okay. So then you'll also on this slide, you'll want a button for them to start. So it can be a clip art, it can be a shape, um, just something for them to click um, that is start. Okay, so I'm just gonna put start in here. And this button is gonna be my start button. So they can click there to start. Okay, so I've got my intro slide here done. Okay, so then I need to go on and do my question slide. Okay, so this one is where you're going to add um, a question. All right, so we're gonna do some buttons for choices. Same size. And I'm gonna do my answer choices. And this is where I like to use like the textbook answer choices and and um, the textbook questions and answers because my brain I like I can't even come up with problems <laughs> it just feels like too hard to do <laughs> but we're gonna add some answer choices here okay so there's my question side so now you're gonna put your questions up here and you can put the questions in however you want I'm just gonna do the text box with my question I'm gonna add a border three plus three plus four equals. Okay, so then they have to figure out the answer. And okay, so now when they get to this slide, they have to figure out the answer and click it. Okay, so you want what you're gonna do is duplicate this slide for each of the questions that you just made. Okay, so now you need to make another slide and you just need to change out the problem um, instead of changing out all the answers because those can stay all the same, okay? So we have, now we need to do another one. You know, maybe we do 10 plus five plus four, okay? And you just keep going and make those questions that are, will match up with your answers down here, okay? Okay, now when you have all of those done, now you're gonna do um, the correct slide. 
So what happens if they get it correct? What do you want to have happen? We said we want flowers to be added, right? So if you want the flowers to just show up, you can add them here in the master slide. If you want the flowers to like drop in from above, um, then you don't wanna add them in here, if that makes sense, okay? So you just wanna add something that tells them like, you got it right, you got a flower, you know, correct. Okay, typing is hard. Okay, so we are going to, and obviously you can go through and you can format this however you want. You can be as, you know, nitpicky as you want with formatting or as straightforward <laughs> as you want, depending on like your time and all of that stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it so I can add the flowers afterwards. And then you need to go down and do an incorrect slide. Okay, so I'm actually gonna copy this and then I'm gonna put it here. So then we can say like, oops, try again. So then you wanna click the something, click the, tr the button to Maybe we'll have like a rabbit eating the flowers, okay? All right, so then we need a ending slide where we just say like, good job, you added all the flowers, the garden looks beautiful, <laughs> all of that stuff, okay? Amazing work. You're ready to go in. Once you have those slides built, you're ready to go out of the master slides and start creating your slideshow okay so once you go out don't freak out <laughs> they're still there we're just going to add them with this little plus up here okay so we're going to add our first slide our start slide okay and then you want to add them in this order next you want to add okay then you want to add your first question okay and then you want to add a correct slide and then an incorrect slide or you can do those vice versa if you want the incorrect first and then you want to add the next question. And then you need another incorrect side and correct side. Okay, I think I did that in the other order. Okay. And then you're going to add the next question. And then you add the incorrect slide and the correct side. Okay. And you can copy paste, like you could just copy and paste these and re, you know, rinse and repeat. You don't have to add them from here every time you could copy and paste, okay? And then at the very end, you need the ending slide, okay? So then what you're ready to do now, you can delete that first one. Now you need to start making links so it's interactive and it goes through, okay? So on the first slide, and what I do to add links is I go into shapes and I get a rectangle and I drag it around what I want to be linked, okay? And then I just make it transparent, transparent, and then you're gonna link it. So we're gonna link this one slide. And we just want it to go to the next slide to start the game, okay? Then you can copy that um, box and then you can go to this slide. And what you wanna do is over the top of the correct answer, you want it to link to the slide that says correct. So we're gonna link it to the slide that's correct, which is slide four. Okay, and then I'm just gonna copy that um, shape. But now I'm gonna change the link to slide three. Okay, and now I'm just gonna copy and put it over here. And I'm just gonna grab, you can you know, select multiple copy paste, like save yourself some time here because all of the other ones are incorrect, right? So we don't, all of these are gonna be linked to the incorrect slide. Okay, and now I'm gonna go to this one, okay? And I need to add a rabbit. Okay, so I'm gonna add this rabbit he says you should secure him to the background um, so how you can do that is just right click add to theme and add it and then it's going to show on every incorrect slide anyways um, so that will be nice and easy for you okay so then what you need to do is grab a transparent shape and then just drag it over the top of 
that sh that image that they're going to click on to go back and then you just want to change it to go to the previous slide or whatever slide you have your questions on okay and then on this next slide we need to make the sun linkable or clickable I mean because this one is going to take them to the next question okay so it's going to actually just go to the next slide so that they can go on to question number two and then we need to add the flower that they're getting here okay so how you're going to do that is grab your flower okay and if you want it to like i said if you don't care about making it like fly in or zoom in or something you can just add this to the master slide or secure it to the background but if you want it to move and you want it to animate um then you don't you want it to be out here in the main slide part okay so then you would go to slide and then transition and then you can add an animation um, so here you could have it like fly in from the top you could have it fade in zoom in you could have it spin whatever and you just want it to do after previous so they don't have to click to get their flower like it's just going to zoom in just like that okay I'm going to drag it down just a little bit because then it will look like it grows out of the grass. Cute, right? Okay, so then what you're going to do is keep going, right? You're just going to keep going and it's super nice after you've already finished one. Um, so we've already finished this one. You can select all these links and copy them and then go to your next slide and paste them and then just switch the couple. Like we just want to switch that one to go to slide um, the next slide because it's incorrect. And then we want to switch this one to go to slide seven to be correct. Okay. And I, what, I sh what you should do is just have your incorrect be next. And then you won't have to change these every time. You can just change the one that's right. Okay, so all of these are going to be, okay, so then that slide's done. Okay, and then we go to this one, we just make sure it's going to go to the previous page. So we can grab the link from the last one we did and put it there so it can go to the previous slide. And then here, what you want to do, if you want these flowers to keep um, adding across every time, you want to add the flower here, and then you're going to add another one on this next slide. So now let's add a blue flower that's going to zoom in this time. Okay, so you go to slide, transition, animate. We'll have it zoom in after previous. Okay, so you're just going to keep going just like that and then you need to also make sure you have the sun linked on those correct slides so they can keep going to the next question. Okay, so, should we give it a try? Here we go. So, they're going to click start. Now, they're going to, um, they get the wrong answer, they'll go back. They get the right answer, they get a flower. And then they click the sun to go on. They get the wrong answer, they go back. They get the right answer, they get a flower. They go on. Okay, so that's how you get started building your game. When you get to the very end, then you just want your last um, question to link to the ending slide rather than a correct slide, if that makes sense. And then you can add on the ending slide all the flowers that you added um, on all the correct slides as you go through. One other tip um, that is super helpful so that students can't just click and go through in order um, is you're going to add a transparent slide um, shape across the top of every slide and that sounds like tedious but I'll show you um, how you can do it pretty quickly but you don't want to do that until the end because you want it to be on top of everything so that they can't click um, all the things so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna link it and we do want this one to go to the next slide so just in case like they don't quite click on start 
we do want it to go to the next slide and they click anywhere on this slide, right? But then you're just gonna copy this shape and then you're gonna paste it on the next one. And what you wanna do is all the buttons, you want them to, okay, so first you want to link it to that slide number. So this is slide two, so I'm gonna link that shape to slide two. So if I'm in present mode and I click on this slide, I can't go past it unless I click on one of the buttons because we're gonna take the buttons and we're going to bring them to the very front. So you basically have layers here and you want the buttons on the top, anything that's linked you want on the top and then you want that transparent shape underneath that so they can't click anywhere else. But then you can just copy this one, paste it here and you can see it changes the slide number and then you just take that link and make sure that is at the front paste your, your um, slide and then we just need to make sure this sun is linked to the front okay paste your transparent image make sure these link to the front okay so once you've built one of these you can see how you have like a template. You have it already planned out. You have it going through. What you could do is keep the same game and just go into your edit master and change out the questions, right? And you could change the background, like make it themey, make it Halloween, make it Christmas, whatever, um, and change in the things that you're adding each time or the theme of the game, but you can't, but then you'd have everything like linked and ready for you. And it would be easy to just, you know, rinse and repeat. Okay. So let's go through it one more time and I'll show you with those transparent boxes what they do so then I click I click start but you can see if I click anywhere else on this slide I'm clicking all over here it's not gonna go on okay you just have to tell your students don't use the arrow keys on their keyboard or it will go on that way but if I click on a button then I can go on okay so that's how you make a interactive game on Google Slides